Never did I know my heart would sing this song for you. Hi, I am Reverend Daniel Newsom, and I am an interfaith minister and a channel for the Holy Spirit of God and the Archangelic Realms. And I welcome you this evening to another episode of On Earth As It Is in Heaven. I want to talk to you for just a few moments about what I do in this work. I've trained myself over a long period of time to be able to put my human ego consciousness to the side and allow the Holy Spirit of God to minister directly through me, to communicate with you, to guide you through your own process of transformation so that the parts of yourself that create pain, suffering, struggle, and lack, the parts of yourself that create the obstacles in your life can be transformed and you can live God's will for you which is heaven on earth. So I invite you to open yourself, sit back, relax, be transformed as you enjoy this episode of On Earth As It Is In Heaven. Thank you. We will speak now on the most effective way to use prayer. As you review what we have given previously, you will understand that every prayer is answered. God does not withhold. God's will is your total joy and fulfillment. When you are having an experience of yourself on earth, where it seems that what you desire is being withheld from you by circumstances or powers that are out of your control It is because you have parts of your consciousness and energy saying no. Pushing away, repelling that which you are asking for. So as a master in formation, 
standing naked before God, your task in meditation is to ask, why am I pushing away? what I have been asking for. What is the part of me that does not feel deserving of receiving what I am asking for? What is the part of me that is fearing? What I am asking for. What is my resistance to being happy and fulfilled? What is my resistance to receiving what I consciously feel I want to receive? If you are willing to be naked before God, God will help you to unearth, to see, to be, to be conscious of that which is pushing away from you. What your heart desires. So in praying effectively, you want to first of all make sure all parts of you want to receive and are ready to receive what you are asking for. Let us go back to the issue of money and financial freedom. In praying effectively, we guide you to imagine, to visualize how you would be and how your life would be if you had what you're asking for. And in being naked before God, you would ask do I feel deserving? Do I really feel deserving of having this? As you imagine yourself having this new life manifestation, see if you could really take it in. Or is there a part of you that feels uncomfortable having what you say you want to have. You see, you've identified for lifetimes with not having what you want. So to all of a sudden receive what you've been asking for, would throw you into an identity crisis. A disintegration of your ego, your sense of self. That is why transformation is often gradual. Why it does not happen all at once. So to pray effectively, you must be caused by God within you. 
to feel innocent and deserving of receiving that which you are calling for. Beloved of God, bring to mind what you desire to receive. Go into your heart. Feel what your own heart is desiring. See it in your mind's eye. And join with us in this prayer. I am now caused by God within me to feel innocent and deserving of that which I am calling for. Breathe that in. Thank you, God. Breathe and open, 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 open even more. And again, I am now caused by God within me to feel innocent and deserving of receiving that which I have called for. Breathe that in and open. And one more time, I am now caused by God within me to feel innocent and deserving of receiving that which I have called for. And now call for it. Yes, yes, yes. Call for what your heart desires. See it in your mind's eye. And let go. And let God take over inside of you. And as you breathe, you are caused by God within you to completely fulfill yourself your life and your purpose on earth. Breathe that in. Let go, let go. Let go. Let God take over and accomplish this within you. As you pray again, I am caused by God within me. To completely fulfill myself. my life and my purpose on earth. Yes, yes, yes. And as you breathe, you open and you speak this prayer one more time. I am now caused by God within me. to completely fulfill myself, my life, and my purpose on earth. Beautiful, breathe God in. If you allow yourself to be sensitive, you will feel it. 
You will feel grace. You will feel the mother lifting you up, transforming you right now. Yes, yes, yes. Now we have spoken of the guilt that human beings carry in the soul. We guide you to move beyond feeling overwhelmed by any problems in your life. We guide you to move beyond feeling victimized by any circumstances in your life. We guide you to understand that those unwanted, unhappy, unfulfilling circumstances and experiences are a manifestation of your soul's guilt. And let that guilt be transformed. as you are caused by God within you to know, feel, and believe that you have no sin. You have nothing to atone for. You have no karmic debts to pay. And there is no price you must ever pay for your life, your joy, and your fulfillment. Do not rail against your life. Let your consciousness and energy be changed. Join with us in transformation and declare with us this prayer, God. God, I am accepting being transformed right here and right now. God, I am caused by your spirit within me to know, feel, and believe that I have no sin. I have nothing to atone for. I have no karmic debts to pay. There is no price I must ever pay for my joy, my fulfillment my life. God, I am accepting my total freedom. God, I am caused by your spirit within me to completely fulfill myself, my life, and my purpose on earth. Breathe that in and be blessed. It has been our pleasure to be with you on this day, to bring forth the glory and truth and unspeakable love of God to all of humanity. Thank you, God, and blessed be. And I guide you to pray 
in this way. Please repeat these words of prayer if you choose. Thank you, God, for the undoing of my ego self. Thank you, God, for the undoing of my ego self. Me, that is. It is your will that I live in joy and fulfillment. It is your will that I live in joy and fulfillment. This is my birthright. This is, this is my birthright. It is my inheritance. It is, it is my inheritance. It is my will for myself. It is my will for myself. God, I give you permission to transform me in whatever way I need to be transformed. God, I give you permission to transform me in any way I need to be transformed. And you will feel now The angels who serve our light working within you. Let us rejoice and celebrate together in the light of God. Amen. Amen. So be it. Be sure to watch the next episode of On Earth As It Is In Heaven to receive more teachings from the Archangelic Realms. And speaking of teachings, we have a message of love brought to you from the Archangelic Realms through Daniel Newsom who uh, Bieber Charlene is going to reach you right now. So, hope you enjoy it. Praise God. A prayer from the angelic realms, which, when worked with on a regular basis, will absolutely transform you. Here it is. Please say aloud, if you will. I am willing to love myself with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, all of my being, with all that I am. Thank you, God, and breathe God in. I am open to loving myself with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, all of my being, with all that I am. Thank you, God and breathe God in. I know and accept that there is never any reason for me not to love myself with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, all of my being, with all that I am. Thank you God and breathe God in. I am loving myself now with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, all my being with all that I am. Thank you, God, and breathe God in. Thank you, God, for your consciousness of unlimited deservingness. As a child of God, my deservingness is unlimited, and I am now and forevermore in a consciousness of unlimited deservingness. Thank you, God, and breathe God in. As a child of God, my deservingness is unlimited, and I am now and forevermore in a consciousness of unlimited deservingness. Thank you, God, 
As a child of God, my deservingness is unlimited, and I am now and forevermore in a consciousness of unlimited deservingness. Thank you, God, and breathe God in. Amen. Reverend Daniel Newsom, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode of On Earth As It Is in Heaven. It's been my privilege in this life to serve as a minister and to serve as a channel for the Holy Spirit of God and the Archangelic Realms for almost 30 years now. I'd love to help you on your spiritual journey. I invite you to come and worship and celebrate with us at the Sacred Light Fellowship. Our address is 150 West 46th Street. That's between 6th and 7th Avenue in Manhattan. And we are on the 6th floor. To enter, ring buzzer number 6. Come to the 6th floor and the person at the reception desk will let you know what room we are in. We offer an amazing Sunday service of worship and celebration every Sunday at 3.30 p.m. And following that, I teach an open, ongoing class called Spiritual Psychic Development and the Path of Inner Transformation. In that class, we work with what the angels have shown you in this episode of On Earth As It Is In Heaven how to access the presence of the Holy Spirit of God within your own being, how to receive its communication, and how to use the grace of God for your specific transformation so that you can experience heaven on earth. We'd love to have you come to the Sacred Light Fellowship, and I would love to work with you. If you'd like to have a private channeling session with me, you can reach me through my email address, which is danielnewsom at yahoo.com, or my website, which is www.danielnewsom.com. And to find out more about the Sacred Light Fellowship, visit our website at www.sacredlightfellowship.org. Now, if you feel fed and ministered to by this work, we would love to have you make a tax-deductible donation to the Sacred Light Fellowship to keep our ministry open and growing and in service. You can make donations through our website at www.sacredlightfellowship.org or your donations can be sent to the Sacred Light Fellowship. The mailing address is 340 Haven Avenue, number 5G, New York, New York, 10033. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you are here on earth to be in heaven. God bless you. How unexpected. The way my heart is singing Never did I know My heart would sing This song for you Makes me cry. The beat.